Hey guys, welcome to my first ever Let's Play, The Sims 4. Um, I've always loved this game. I believe I played the game since I was grade 4 or grade 5 from The Sims 2. That's the first ever Sims game that I played. I really, yeah, I really love this game up to now, which is The Sims 4, the latest installment in the sims franchise i don't know i just love you know simulating life in your computer play and playing a life simulation wherein you can create stories you can do whatever you want that you can't even do in real life okay so without further ado let's get to the game so i have to create a new game first and first things first, I have to create a household in order for me to play the Sims game. So this is to create the Sim. Oh, there's a story mode. So let's try this one. Hi, would you like to create my story? We'll start with a fun personality quiz. Afterwards, you can customize my appearance. Okay, so I'm planning to create a sim that resembles me. I don't know how will I do that, but I will try my best. Let me just turn the music down a little bit. Okay, that's better. Okay, thank you. So let's start with an easy question. What age am I? I'm a young adult. What do I do for fun? Well, um, I play games. When raising children, what values would I instill? Um, good manners, of course. The best way for me to relax is TV and junk food, of course. When I'm around children, I feel, um, well, I guess, angry. I try my best. So yeah, so based from the quiz, here's what I look like. But obviously, it's it's so far from what I look like. So hey, nice to meet you. Feel free to assign my gender, adjust my appearance, blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, so here's my story. So my career would be an entertainer. So I have a bonus skill like guitar and violin, which is something that I cannot do in real life. So my main skills will be comedy skill, video gaming skill, oh I have a starting funds as well. My traits will be snob, okay, that's okay, I'm a geek, yeah, I admit. I'm a loner, yes, of course I am. And my aspiration is to be a serial romantic, okay. Okay, I'm okay with that, but let me just change my appearance, of course. First, I'm a male. Yeah. Open it up a little bit. So the good thing about The Sims 4, compared to the other Sims franchise, um, one of their best assets is the Create a Sim. Because you can really customize, you can really mold the facial structure, the body structure of your sim to whatever you like. So it's much easier compared to the previous games. So if I want to extend the nose, I can just do it like this, as simple as this. Yeah. And I think I'm okay with this. JM Alvarez. Yeah. What is this? Walk style. Such a prima donna. Okay. This... <laughs> well, this is how I actually walk in school, but... Yeah. That is too much. That is too much. Okay. Let me just do a normal walk. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. So, let's get started. Alvarez family, of course. Yes, yes. Check, check, check. I'm really excited. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just had a problem with the previous household that I just made. 
the one that I named after after myself. Um, I couldn't play him in The Sims, so because of that, I have to choose another household, and this one is I will play for now, the Bailey Moon household, that consists of Thorn Bailey, Octavia Moon, and their child, Orange Bailey Moon. Yeah, they are a small family, and they're living in this mansion in Del Sol Valley, which is a very big mansion. It's a two-story mansion and yeah, it looks really nice. It's a pre-made family here in The Sims, meaning when I got the game, the family was already created by the developers. They are one of the existing or the pre-made families that you can play if you don't really like to create a sim from a scratch. So as you can see here, they are watching a movie or a show on this big television. And here you can see the town. So here they have a great view of the town. It reminds me of Los Angeles. But don't be fooled because it's only a set dressing. It's just a design. You cannot interact with these houses. You cannot live on those houses cannot go here as well it's just here for the sign it's a set dressing yeah see if you come here if you move your camera here it's all fake <laughs> you will be disappointed but anyway the sims it's a really big game it's not an open world unlike the other existing games right now it's because each of the Objects on the game is functionable, meaning, for example, this chair, they can do anything with it. They can sit even on the table, they can set the table, the sink, they can wash their hands, they can click the trash, they can use the bar. So every object that you will see on this house or every object on the game is functionable. You can interact with it. That's why The Sims is a very big game. So if it's open world, it would be impossible for most of the game engines to run it. And then, of course, The Sims is based on real life. That's why it's a life simulation. It's one of the best life simulation that we have now. Most of the actions or the animations that The Sims are doing or the objects are based from real life, the actions were taken for from real humans. Most of their motions are very exaggerated or looks cartoonish, and I think that's their main goal for this game. And I think I like that. They really did a good job with that, although some of the players are really hoping for a more realistic visuals, but for me, I'm okay with it. So here you will see some certain interactions between sims. You will see on their faces how are they feeling, like if they are happy or for example here Thorn Bailey is feeling confident. So yeah, you will see it there. And from their emotions, it can influence their um, interactions towards other sims. And that's one of the assets of Sims 4 compared to the other franchise is their emotions and also multitasking. Like for example here, Orange Bailey is watching TV while talking to Octavia. So yeah, but she left already so... <laughs> so like I said, emotions will be um, very obvious on the sims here <coughs> you will see it in their eyes in their mouth in their eyebrows and everything here you will see in their movements like when you're feeling confident like his movements are a bit um, like over the top So I think they really did a good job with the animations here. It's on point. It's not minimalized. It's like I said, it's very exaggerated. So you will really see what's going on. 
you will see, you will really notice if the sim is happy or if the sim is sad, depressed, or in any kind of emotion. Okay, so let's make Orange try to swim here. Let's see how the animation looks for swimming. And here you will see Octavia listening to the music, feeling happy. It's very obvious on her face, which is really cool. Yeah. Here. This is his animation for swimming as a child. So now he, she is feeling inspired. You will see it here on the bottom left and her facial expression has changed as well. As you can see there are a lot of secondary actions that is happening on a single sim like if the body is moving or if her hands are moving her head is moving as well. So it really brought a realism to the game because that's how humans are. And here you will see him dancing, he's busting out a move, so yeah. Okay, my sim here, or a sim here is glitching, I don't know why. Anyway, you can see um, there are very exaggerated movements here as well. If you're really looking for a good game that has the basic principles of animation, I think this is a great example. They really managed to um, improve their animations from their previous games. <sighs> yeah, he is a celebrity, and paparaz paparazzis are taking pictures of him. Let's try cooking a meal. Let's cook here something like pan de muerto. Okay, enough with that. Enough with posing for paparazzi. Um, I'm sorry, but you're not invited here, sir. Can you please leave? You're strange. Okay. You. Okay, you should cook. You should cook for your family. Well, some of the animations here are simplified as well. Like, where did he get that spoon that he was just using earlier, or this bottle? It just came out of thin air. Well, they did that because in order for it to really work and to really be playable since the time here is based on minutes like for example one hour in real time is like one minute in the sims so some of the actions that is in real life cannot be used here in the sims like here he didn't put his shorts down even when using the toilet so. but so far this is a great game and I really loved it I really enjoy playing sims it's one of my favorite games ever I don't know there's just something with the sims like you can live a life wherein you cannot even do in real life you can reach their dreams, reach their goals, or do whatever you want. So yeah, that's it for my commentary on this game. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!